Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy DT3, man, and I'm big at you with another video, man. New media, notification game. God Squad, it's what it is, man. Look, check this out. Hey, Javante, on some real shit, I think you need to shut the fuck up and stop being on Twitter so goddamn much. Shout out to Clarissa Shields and shout out to my girl Candace. She sent me a, a clip with Clarissa Shields on Twitter, basically flaming Javante Davis, and she cooked your ass, boy. Oh, she cooked you. Tank, you ain't got no business talking about no female, bro. Because from what we are, from our knowledge publicly, you a bitch beater. That's what you do. All the females you get with, you beat on them. You don't even know how to have a woman. You can't even keep a bitch because you're too busy slapping out. So you sitting there talking shit about Clarissa. Number one, Clarissa don't even want your ass. She engaged. She about to be married and all the shit, bro. Like, nigga, where your bitch at? Or you, or you just out here just slanging shit and just putting your shit everywhere Whatever bitch smile at you that you like enough. Which is just gonna get you baby mamas and child support and all the dumb shit niggas shouldn't be on. That's why I tell niggas, man, zip it up, man. Keep it in your pants, man. Keep it in your pants, man. It's better for you to sit back, chill, get your money, and wait for somebody to really be about you in a real way before you just be out here just slanging that shit. Because once you get money, the the, the, the women gonna come. They just gonna come in flocks and droves. You don't even gotta be cute. Flavor Flav is a perfect example of that. All you gotta do is have the money and they come in. You could just sit there and take your pick. But I say, even in that, move. Leave them alone. Don't even fuck with them. Because had you not have had this money, them females wouldn't even be fucking with you. They wouldn't even be talking to you. They wouldn't even be in your face. They only in your face because they see that you could provide them a lifestyle. They don't want to give a fuck about you. It's the fact that your money can provide them a particular lifestyle that they want. And then when they get another dude that they think is better than you, they're going to go with him. But Tank, you ain't got no business talking about no Clarissa Shields. <laughs> Honestly, you shouldn't even be talking about nobody because you are actually, you know, being told what to do. You're you're being handled. You're you're cherry picking. You know what I'm saying? You're not no real world champion. You ain't beat no real world champion except Jose Pedraza at 130 pounds. You ain't really doing nothing real. You getting your money. Whoop you fucking do. Yay, good for you. But you're not doing nothing Hall of Fame worthy. You know what I'm saying? Frank Martin, don't, only, and it's like, it's funny that everybody wanted you to fight Shakur, then you pull out Frank Martin. Don't nobody know. Didn't nobody know. Now people know who Frank Martin is because you fighting him. It's funny how, you know, when you start talking about certain fighters, they say, oh, I don't, I don't know who that is. And then they end up fighting somebody that don't nobody know who the fuck they is. Just like <laughs> when they told, <laughs> when they told Jamal, to fight David Benavidez. They said, Jamal, you should fight David Benavidez. He said, who is that? Who's that kid? I don't know who that kid is. I don't I have no idea who that is. Like, who is that kid? Jose, oh, yeah, that kid got more to prove. And then nigga fight Juan Montiel. You won't, you, don't nobody know who David is, but you fight Juan Montiel? And then you want to sit there and say, he's a hell of a fighter. He's just, blah, 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 blah. that nigga ain't even top 25 fighter coming out of Mexico. Okay, let alone a top 25 fighter on the planet. Jose was, Benavidez was, well, not Jose, David was top prospect. Top. And now you look at where Jamal at. Well, I ain't even finna rip your ass the fuck up. Your ass is just dumb. That just proves you don't give fighters all this much money. You can't keep having motherfuckers getting top dollar. That's why, um... Uh, uh, Marvelous Marvin Hagler said, man, it's hard to get up a fight when you sleep in silk shades. Why? I'm rich now. I don't have to do this shit. I don't love this enough to continue. I got where I, I got all of what I wanted to get out of it. And that's it. Which was the money. If I get to be a world champion, great. Yay. But really, I just want the money. Give me the money. So, Tank. You not your handlers will not push you towards Shakur. Your handlers is not pushing you towards Devin. 
at all. And everybody say, well, Devin to do this, Devin to do this. I mean, hey, take a do this to Devin, take a do that to Devin. Well, shit, if that was the case, why they didn't fight the nigga earlier? Get the shit out the way. I said the same thing about Deontay Wilder when everybody was talking about Deontay Wilder or knock out Anthony Joshua, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, then if he if he just knock the nigga the fuck out, why they won't fight the nigga then? If it's that easy, if you really that fucking easy to beat, why not fight him and get it over with? Be done with the shit. Because it's not that easy. If it was that easy, they would do it. The problem is they don't, I don't know, they don't know the outcome. They can't predict the outcome. You can, you can, Leonard Ellaby could bring his big greasy pill pepper nose ass up and say, ain't nobody fucking with Tank. You ain't even putting him in there with nobody that has the potential to fuck with Tank. Shakur got the potential, but it ain't proven. Yeah, that's your opinion, but it ain't proven. And that's not my, that's a fact. You can't prove that Tank can't, ain't nobody fucking with Tank till Tank didn't been in there with everybody that you claim he, that can't fuck with him. Shakur ain't been in there with him. Y'all, y'all didn't even want to put him in there with Loma. Y'all might put him in there with Loma like now, but at first y'all wasn't trying to, when Loma was Loma, y'all wasn't, y'all wasn't, y'all didn't want no parts of Vasily Lomachenko. Tank, I give Tank, Tank did. Tank had the mentality because he come from the streets. He got the mentality, I'll fight whoever, I don't give a fuck, da, 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 da. but listening to Floyd and you know, Leonard and you got to get your money and Allen and all that shit, he ain't finna, he ain't got that energy no more. He talking like he want these niggas. These niggas, no, nah, he ain't finna fight these niggas. He only gonna fight them if they lost a the step. Tia female gonna pose it poses a problem with Tank. Tia female poses a problem. Shakur poses a problem for two reasons. Number one, Shakur is a pure breaded boxer, pure, and he's southpaw. We don't know what Javante Tank Davis will do against a good southpaw boxer. Because Shakur is not just a boxer, he's a southpaw. So he's going to be coming from a, from different angles, certain angles that, that Tank is used to seeing from um, orthodox fighters. He's not going to have that angle with um, with Shakur Stevenson. And we already know that Tank Davis does not start fast right away. He has to get going as rounds go on into the fight. So we already know Tank is going to give up some early rounds to Shakur. We already know that. We already know that Tank may give up some early rounds with Devin. That's just because Tank got to get a feel for you. So that means he's going to give up some rounds. <clears throat> and depending on how the mid to late rounds go will depend on the outcome of that particular fight. I don't see Tank demolishing Shakur, but I don't see Shakur demolishing Tank. I see it as a 50-50 situation and made a best man fucking win. Because if, if, if Tank is looking to just land that one punch the whole fight, he going to lose. He's going to lose. If he's just looking to throw one punch at a time, maybe two at a time, and you got Shakur constantly popping that jab, constantly staying consistent just with just the jab, and you see more jabs than power shots from, from Tank, and Tank not really landing nothing, Shakur is going to win that. He going to win that. It's going to be long and boring with Shakur going to win that. Tank would have to make that fight exciting. Tank ain't that type of fighter. Right? So you go, you you sit there and talk shit about Clarissa. When number one, what is you doing picking on a female for? Saying how she looked like this, she looked like this. Well, nigga, check this out. You the one out here twerking in videos and dancing hella provocative, looking a little sus, wearing purses furs and all that like nigga shut your ass up because you doing some suspect shit from for a nigga that's from baltimore you doing some suspect shit bro real rap this dancing all that shit nigga no and you sitting there capping for ryan when you was just talking big shit about ryan before but now all of a sudden you team ryan garcia Tank, you capping, bro. Tank, you capping. And the thing, this is why I'm, another why I'm getting on Tank for what he's saying about Ryan. Because you the same nigga. You the same nigga, Tank. When Ryan came up to you and was like, can we be friends after the fight? You even said that was, I know that sucker shit. And you said that, man, I ain't trying to be your friend. Nigga, like, I don't mean, this ain't that. So you was all thugging in the buildup. But now all of a sudden, y'all friends and shit. Y'all business partners. Man, look. 
PBC is confusing the shit out of y'all. You got, what y'all fail to realize is Tank fuck with Floyd. They use that little beef when they be talking shit about each other. They use that little shit to get you to watch them, to get you to talk about them. That shit ain't real. If Tank really had beef with a nigga on some real shit, he would leave. He would get the fuck on. He not finna stay in no situation that's going that's going to be detrimental for him. That's stupid. When you got all these other promotion companies that will be glad to have you. The thing is, at PBC, Tank is the, the crim de la de crim. Tank is the top guy. They lose Tank, who they got? And Tank know that PBC need him if he's smart. He know that they need him more than he need them. If he's smart, he know they need him more than he need them. If he's really on his shit. Because what would be, what if Tank said, fuck you, I'm going to top rank. Fuck you, I'm going to the zone. Who PBC going to have? That's going to make up for the amount of money that they made with Tank. Don't worry, I'll wait. So, Tank ain't going nowhere from PBC. So when y'all seeing Tank talk shit about Floyd, but then do a video saying that Floyd Mayweather is the best fighter that he could fight and giving Floyd all these props and all that shit, but then at the same time talk shit about a nigga, but he don't never give Shakur that many props. The only fighter I've ever seen Tank give props to is Monster Inoue. That's the only fighter I've seen Tank give like real props. Like he don't talk shit about him. He don't tweet bad about Inoue. He say he's good and all that shit. But on some real shit, bro, you ain't got no business talking about no female that's engaged to be married when you just out here just fucking whatever Tom Dick Harry bitch that you can fucking find that's willing to spread it open. You niggas like you get hella kids and then say, I don't regret my kids, but I regret they mamas. Well, I'm going to tell niggas this and females. When y'all say, I don't regret my kids, I just regret who I have them with, you are regretting the aspect of your children. Hear what I'm telling you. When you say, I regret who I have the kid with, guess what? That piece, that, that, that piece is in your kid. That person you had the baby with, a part of them is in that child. So you're, you're still regretting shit. You're regretting a part of your a part of your child that makes them who they are. I regret the part of you that's your mama. I regret the part of you that's like your daddy. So how would that make me feel? If somebody told me they regret something that is naturally innately in me that I didn't even ask for. I'm just fucking here because y'all niggas was horny. Anyway. Tank, you you capping. You capping for Twitter. You capping for, for social media. You ain't really funking with Floyd. You trying to try to create this fraudulent beef with damn near everybody when really all you really doing is just clout chasing. And if you're supposed to be the star in all of boxing, what the fuck is you sitting there clout chasing other motherfuckers for or talking shit or talking down to other boxers for? If anything, you should be bigging up motherfuckers. Because the motherfuckers you talking shit about, you ain't finna fight them. Floyd don't, and you ain't get, you ain't got permission. You ain't even in full control. You don't even control your career. You, you following behind whatever Floyd tell you or whatever Alan Hammond tell you. You don't got no, you don't control shit. You don't dictate whatever the fuck you do or what you don't do. They do. So cut it out. You ain't got no business to talk about Clarissa and Clarissa's husband or Clarissa's fiance wouldn't be wrong to step to your ass. No, don't talk about my girl. Like you don't talk about my fiance like that, bro. That's the problem. You niggas don't approach motherfuckers. Y'all too worried about dumb fuck shit. I'd have got at you, bro. Now I'm not. I'm not tweeting shit, bro. I'm not on no public shit, nigga. I'm. I know where you at, nigga. My wife could shields, nigga. So I, I get to you. And I'm not saying I can get you like I'm put my hands on you, but I'm gonna show approach you. They be like, what you say about my wife, nigga? Like I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say something. And that's the problem, niggas like you, motherfuckers scared of niggas like you for some fucking reason. It's ridiculous. But you capping, bro. You ain't got no business talking about Chris Shields. And you ain't got no business with this fake fraudulent beef you got with Floyd Mayweather. That shit fake. Anybody that believe that shit, you stupid. That's why I don't make videos when that shit happens. I know that shit fake. How many times over the years have they gone back and forth and created this so-called beef with each other? They only do that shit so you could keep eyes on them because they don't want you to get so caught up with all these other major fights happening. You forget about them. It's like, oh, wait, we still here. We still out here. Don't forget about us. 
I know they fighting, but 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 and we not, but but we still here. So so hey tank, uh you a you you a whole ass nigga. You 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 dancing gay. It's all a publicity stunt, bro. It's all a publicity stunt. So niggas can try to stay relevant. And if y'all relevant, you don't have to try to stay what you are. You are what you are. All right? So Tank, the fact that you got a clout chase, Clarissa Shields, number one, you ain't even... <laughs> Tank, you ain't even like... You're not even as a, a... Clarissa Shields is more accomplished as a boxer than you. Tell me I'm lying... Tell me that, that Clarissa don't got more hardware under her name than fucking Tank Davis, bro. If Clarissa Shields retire right now, first ballot. First ballot. Just with her amateur prowess alone. First ballot. Only female to go to two-time in the Olympics with a gold medal. Only motherfucker. There's other dudes. There are a couple dudes that did it. She the only female. Two-time Olympic gold medalist. That shit is unheard of in the Olympics. She did that shit. Comes to the pro ranks. Undisputed. Clear the whole motherfucking division. Tank, you ain't even fall half of a division. You bouncing all over the place. You fighting 35, 40, 47, wherever the fuck. And then you got to every time about you a 30, 135 pound fighter, but you got 140, 147 pound fighters trying to call you the fuck. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Look, man, I hope by the time your career is done, Javante, that you have amassed half of what Carissa has done in hers. At least half. At least unify. If you don't do nothing else in your bullshit career, at least unify. Like, at least unify. Give the people a unification bout with Javante Tank Davis. Give us that. Because right now, these regulars and these supers, and they just emailing you, best I didn't respect that shit. I didn't respect that shit when Devin got it. You know when I started respecting Devin as a champion? When he defended that bitch. When he fought to defend his belt and he was successful, then I respected him as a champ. But I didn't respect you as a champ if they email you belts. Just like Boots. Nigga, Boots better win some shit. Because until then, I don't respect that nigga as no goddamn champion. Better win some shit. Got time for these emails. Just like the nigga that they gave the belt to when Jamal had fell off. Okay, I see who y'all gave the belt to. What the nigga gonna do now? I'm not impressed. I want to, y'all should, as far as I'm concerned, y'all should have been stripped Jamal, but whatever. Nigga been champ for motherfucking five years. They ain't had a belt, a, a fight since Jesus was a pup. And this nigga holding on belts and had to get caught drinking and driving and doing some old dumb obnoxious shit to finally get fucking stripped. And now we got this new nigga as champion. The motherfuckers applauding, not because of who they got champion, but because they stripped Jamal. One.